Oh, hey, you hear that? I heard the rustling. I was trying to find the mic and then they start shaking the ground. Eventually the mic like shows up. Some people start the show, a show, if, they, if you have a show, and you start it up and you know where your mic is. But I didn't know. And I found it, now I know. It's right here, in my hand. Next to my mouth. You're hearing me what I'm saying. You, you, you hearing me, viewers? Are you hearing this microphone? Microphone's hearing me. The microphone's talking to the machines. There's several machines. And it's making its way to you, to your listeners, to you listeners from the future. I'm back here on Friday, January 4th. And you are sometime way into the future. What day? How far? Got some water. <sighs> Tones. Um, where's Bird? He was going to be here today, but he told me he was sick. So I'm going to call Bird today and say, Bird, you sick? I was getting sick. I was waking up, being sick, coming back from being sick. Everybody's getting sick. Did you notice that a few weeks ago, viewers? When were they sick? Like, in like, uh, uh, last week, a couple weeks ago, in the end of 2018, everybody was coughing. I saw some hobo coughing today. Um, and he's spitting on the ground. I think, hobo, get a bucket. If I was worried about hobo spit, then, you know, you can worry about everything all the, everywhere you go. So, it's like, probably, okay, how long do things live, like, um, outside of a body? You think the whole world is covered in germs? I heard that metal is not, but then it must be covered in dead germs. Is everything in the world is covered in a layer, layer of germs? What do you call germs? Bacteria? Like, they exist on cardboard and metal and glass and, you know, plastics. Lots of, um, uh, materials. How many materials can bacteria exist on? Uh, three? What are we going to do today? Maybe we're going to make some phone calls, look at some tapes, remember the past, see, uh, like look into the future, try to think about stuff. Look at that, it's already changed up. We should call Bird though. Bird told me he was sick. He's like, I'm sick. That's how he told me. So, Bird, how you feeling? Sick. Sick as hell. Bird, you sick as hell? You gonna take it some more? Oh, well, looks like Mark called us, too. So, I'm gonna we should get to the stuff. It's the daytime. I think Mr. Ginsu is gonna be working, though. At 4 o'clock. Here's Bird. Come on, phones, go, go, go. I want you to run, phones. Phones are going slow. Mm. Come on, you can do it. Phones, it's the struggling. I'll oh, just play this message. Someone, oh, hey, hey. 
Hey, Vern. How are you doing? Good. It's Friday. Friday. Yeah, it's the fourth. Yeah. First Friday. And uh, I'm supposed to be in there in the studio with you, but I'm not. Yeah, where are you? Lucky. Although I am actually sick, so maybe I'm not. Really? You need a doctor's lucky. note. Um, <clears throat> so, just staying home and resting. Where's your doctor's note, Bert? I don't believe you. I think is the best. So, what are your symptoms? Yeah. Well. <laughs> and uh, hope you're having a good time there. Hope the studio is. You can hope a lot, but what can wonderful. you do to help? And uh, yep, let's uh, check in. Uh, hopefully, I can make it in there sometime next week. I'd like that. Yep. Sorry, I'm not there. I feel bad. I'm sorry. But, uh, yep. I I'm sorry. You feel good. And, uh, you sound sick. Keep up the good work. But maybe too Thanks. sick. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't make it in there. I'm sick. Oh, yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> Uh, he's like at the beach. <laughs> he's like, hold on. He's like drinking tequilas, and then he's, hold on, I gotta make this call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you? I'm okay. Um, it's uh, yeah, we're not at TCTV. Oh yeah, oh, this, this is what you would be. Kind of feels Maybe. good, honestly. I I'm like it. Rush over there. Yeah, it's nice. I'm like taking it easy. Uh, also, I don't think we'd be able to make it over there anyway. Well, not in the traditional way, because, um, what year ago was it around this time when I was having car trouble? Was it last year? Um, I don't know. We can look. I remember hearing something about it. Maybe it was... Your calipers? Yeah, the calipers. Yeah, that, was that was like, like 2017? Yeah, 16. one of those years, yeah. I think it was 2017. Well, having car problems? I'm having car problems. This morning when I was driving to work, my car stopped going. Whoa, jeez. Like, I got to a stop light. I was uh -huh. having this thing where I would push on the gas, and it would kind of, like, seem like the engine was revving for a second before it would, like, get in and actually Ooh. move me. Yeah. And then I got to a stop sign and then d did it again, and it just didn't go. Oh. It just wouldn't go. It just, like, rev the engine was revving. Oh, yeah? It, it was on, though? Yeah. Oh. It didn't run out of gas. Anyway, it just ran I couldn't move. It wouldn't move, so um, I don't know. I think my best guess is that the transmission is out, what? which is a big, oh, big yeah. thing. What, what did you do? I opened my car door and pushed my car into the parking space. I like, you know, I like pushed it. Yeah, you were close to a parking space though. And it was in drive, and you could just push it like it was in neutral. So oh, it's like that's weird. Probably, it's like probably the transmission. So, mm. I don't know. It's too bad. I'm going through cars so fast these days, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, you're getting, like, the worst cars. Hey, I really? Mean, I, mean, I mean, not the, the worst car. Not, like, this car is the worst, but it is, like, the your family's, like, old cars. Yeah. They're like, we don't want this car anymore. You can have it. And you're like, okay, oh, yeah, well, so I'm going to see. I think it works. I think it, this car I works. I okay. cars are there, you know? Uh... Some of my coworker was like, oh, I have an old Prius. I'm like, oh, maybe I should get a Prius. Because uh, the gas mileage, I was just thinking, I think I, like, cursed it yesterday if people are into this cursing thing where, like, yesterday I was getting gas and I was like, damn, it costs me, like, almost, you know, like $55 or more to fill up my tank. Mm -hmm. And the gas prices are even, like, lower than usual. And then... um I also just feel like I go through gas so fast because the car doesn't get that good of mileage. So, I don't know. I was actually just stopping in the studio to drop off my backpack and bus to my house to get my bike. Oh. So, yeah. Also, I ran I ran into the landlord on the way in here, and mm -hmm. he said he figured out why the door gets left open sometimes. And it's when it doesn't, like, close with full force or something. And he thinks it's when we're bringing bikes in. And like mm. it's like when the bikes come in, it like the car the door bumps against the bike, no. and then it, well, yeah, that's what he says. Okay. Anyway, that's 
what he thinks. You gotta like pull the door. I never pull the door even if I'm walking and I let it go. Yeah, but it's been apparently left open in the middle of the night like, several times. Oh, recently. I'm sure. So, it's like you gotta turn around. I don't want to go check it. I think that is the landlord. Yeah, he's oh. out there. Yeah. He's gotta check it. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's gotta fix it. I th yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I wanna. It's definitely the coming in rather than the out though, or something. Yeah. But. Anyway, yeah, it's, I don't know. He thinks it's the bikes, but oh, uh, well, he's going to take my bike in here. It's it couldn't be the bikes because the bike. It's like the same. The door's just closing, like either way, it's closing on its own. I'm not pushing it, and, and I get the bike through real fast. I don't bump the bike. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We just gotta ch we gotta keep our eye on it. I guess. I do. Still. Uh, probably like eighty percent. Yeah, but still, it's not. That great. It is weird. It should just close itself. Most doors close themselves. Yeah. But whatever. I always just thought of that because I was. I what I have to do is I have to go get my bike. And then you're gonna bike down here, back. Yeah. Because then you don't you because you don't have a car now. I don't have no, a car. You're gonna now. bike. Where's your car? It's like uh between. Let's see, between Legion and Fifth, uh, on like some one cross street somewhere, like maybe like just up from Plum or like. So it's not not in the um. It's on a nine-hour spot oh. actually. So, um, but so I got some money in there. Yeah, I paid through five o'clock, and now I just gotta like, um, and then I have it through the weekend, and I gotta like figure out where I'm gonna tow it on Monday. What about your Rav? Four, that's still running. It does run. Yeah. Yeah, I might switch back to the Rav Four. <laughs> yeah. And like, put the brakes, new brakes on the Rav Four, and then um, switch back to the Rav Four. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know how to change your entire transmission? I've done it before, but I can't do it with what I've got. You need more stuff. You need like, like kind of this like, this engine crane. You literally have to pull the full on engine out of the car. It's like a thousand dollars, maybe. It's like at least a thousand dollar repair. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I had to call, you know, call my dad actually. Be like, here's what's happening. Yeah. And then you walk. You had to walk to work. Yeah. Did you make it? I made it in time. Wow. Yeah. Car issues. The joy of car ownership. Yeah, yeah it's like I never have a car. Yeah, that's nice. If you don't have a car, then your car never breaks down and it never strands you anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you never have to pay repair bills for yeah. your car. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you can't go places when you want to. Yeah. But usually you can because I know where I want to go and then I have to plan ahead of time. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's good. And if you want to go somewhere on the spur of the moment, and it's like maybe you shouldn't be going there. Yeah. You got to plan everything. Have you been? Have you been feeling okay? Bird's sick. A lot of people have been sick around me. Yeah, my coworker, I guess, was feeling sick or something too. Uh, I feel pretty good. One thing I get now, I've had it a couple of times in the past, like couple of months, is like. Oh, you found out. your keys I'm before I forget. Too. Oh, I found them. Remember you lost them? Yeah, now I get, now I put this little beeper on. So Have you got, used it? Yeah, I've used it. it. Helps me find my keys. Where's the Where's the base? Right now the base is at my house. So you have it in a certain you attached it to something? Uh, it's like got a little stand and I keep it next to my TV. I guess it's yeah. got a spot. I haven't right. attached it physically to anything. Yeah, yeah, but you know, maybe you don't need to. Maybe where I don't were, need where to. Where were your keys when you lost them? Like a couple weeks ago. I think they're in. A jacket? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or something. I can't remember. I think they were in a jacket. Like, there was under a pile of clothes or something, mm. you know? Okay. Yeah, but I went around for, like, three days without my keys, I guess. And then found the thing and yeah. put, the, put it on there. Um, what was the other question? Um, sick. Yes. No, I'm not really feeling sick. But what I have been getting, and I think this is, like, my... I can, like, detect my body fighting off viruses because my glands will swell up a little bit uh -huh. and then when I yawn my tonsils kind of hurt 
Ooh. Um, and it was happening to me for like a week, a couple months ago, and I was kind of freaked out that I had like throat cancer or something. But um, it's cancer. Probably. Yeah. I think it's just like my immune system kicking into action, and I think my immune system is strong or something. Mm-hmm. Or like because I'm not like getting other symptoms. Like I don't have a sore throat. I feel like I have a runny nose, like or not a runny nose, like a kind of a mildly stuffed up nose all the time, and I think it might be the climate, yeah. Just like the like the dampness, mm-hmm. possibly. But um, I think I wasn't getting any other symptoms, and I think it was just like my 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 immune system is battling off stuff, which is good. Good. Yeah. Um, where are you gonna go? You gonna get your bike and then bike somewhere? I'm gonna come back here. Yeah. You're gonna come back what, what, if you're already here. And then what I'm you... meeting. I'm meeting Madeline uh, downtown, like at six. So, you know, or and I gotta. I'm probably gonna go to her house tonight, and I just like I'm gonna get off work tomorrow mm-hmm. at eight. Oh yeah. So then the bus that goes to my house doesn't go to my house after that time. Yeah. So you ride the bus up to the west side. Um. Yes. Ride the bus to the... No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ride the bus to the west side. And ride the bus to the east side first, and then ride the bus to the west side, and then, I guess, yeah, have my bike. Getting on the bus. Yeah. Yeah, you can put your bike on the bus. That's what I do. Yep. Usually it works out. Oh, I was hoping... I wonder what time the shoots closes, actually. The park? No, the shoots bike place. Because... You got um, bike problems, too? Well, I just need to put fenders on. Do you have fenders on your bike? No. I just have a wet butt. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to avoid um, wet butt. It's hard. Yeah. Is that a, that's like a, a pro we're talking about wet butt on the program, right? Or is that a life thing? So wet I got butt? wet butt. Is that a life thing or but what do you mean? It's a, I don't know. I say that. I say that. Um, oh, like wet butt, oh, you got yeah. wet butt? Uh, it's yeah. when your butt's wet. <laughs> it's like a... Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's my plan. And you get fenders. Yeah, I gotta get fenders. I have fenders that I bought, but they're we're not the right size. My bike is like an old mountain bike. Mm-hmm. And the wheels, it, I, I don't know, one bike shop said that they would work and they sold them to me and I was going to go put them on myself and then when I got home... They didn't fit, and I never went back. And um, Ooh, not it's too late. No, I just I'm thinking maybe I'll take him to the shoots and be like, "What do I do?" And then they'll be like, "Cut this," and I'm like, "Okay." I don't know. I'm not really sure what they'll say. Maybe they'll just say that it won't work at all. Then I'll just buy new ones or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid of fenders are gonna hit my tires. Like, really? They're gonna like melt, null form or something, get loose. Oh. Get in there. Remember, uh, Dan Bennett told me that he like he had some kind of like bike accessory. I think he had like a like a cargo deal, oh, and then he yeah. was like going down the the Fourth Ave Hill from the west side, and then he like got in his spokes and he ate it real bad. Uh, down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> but then again, scary. Dan that's a Dan Bennett story. So yeah, it, it, who knows if it was that or just general uh, neglect. Of one's sure. own safety. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. I wonder if he had attached the, to uh, the bike himself. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I want to see what was going on last year, in the years. Oh, yeah, okay. Have you looked at that stuff oh, yet Yeah, today? I have not. We got 2016, 17, and 18. Ah, that's nice. And then 19. Got a too. big collection of years. Has, have we been in this year for a week yet? Uh, no, it's the fourth. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's 2016. Let's take a look. A program. There he is. Dan oh, Bennett yeah, himself. Uh, yeah. Wow. Maybe it was a Monday. Oh, let me tell you. This is quite possibly the most unusual Monday program that I have ever been involved with. Why? And what, why is this that? year? Why? Because it's a Wednesday. Well, because I was late. Oh. Okay. And I tried to say everything in Lewis's 20 minutes. Lewis's last day is today, too. Say everything real fast. Uh, and kind of. 
Oh, this is last name. You will learn about, about the Hubble. Hubble, the Hubble te 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 telescope. <laughs> speaking. Maybe that's the most interesting part of the show. 3604, call and leave a message. Get on TV. Bye, Lewis. It better be interesting. See you later. Bye. I've been wearing that same jacket since 2016. Whoa. Yeah. That's some staying power. That's a quality jacket. All right, that was 16. You think you got that jacket in the 2016? It must have been 2015, or unless I got it in the last oh, yeah. like, three days in 2016. Do you, uh, did you get it new? I did not. Wow, that really is a quality jacket then. Yeah. Here's uh, 17. Ooh, I like that. What is that? When are we? Hey, oh. 19, 2019. Family. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, Whoa, you got that jacket too. Yeah, I got yeah, wearing the, the same jacket. Minutes, probably. Um, wow, we haven't yeah, done a lot of like, style call, changing call, yeah. in the last couple Today. of years. I'm thinking about more cubicles. Cubicles? Stuff. Also, like, fact How's fiction. your car? Fact versus fiction. Uh, Not we, fiction, We get a call fiction. from this guy, uh, this band called Stuntman. Right. Are you a stunt uh, person and how yourself? Much, how much self-respect does Stuntman have? And how much do you have? Maybe it's a good time... To reflect on your self-respect. Yeah, think about. And work. Oh and yeah, self -worth. I don't I think the, that one up. I didn't think about that. I think the stuntmen have very little because they're trying to prove themselves all the time. Oh yeah, that's probably what you meant. Yeah, that's they're like, trying to prove. I mean, most stuntmen, it's just like a job, like any other job, right? Yeah, but I guess I'm, maybe I'm thinking of just like amateur stuntmen. Oh yeah, like or, uh, like the jackass people. They're they're millionaires. <laughs> yeah. This they one. are definitely professionals at this point. This is 2018, and then like, we should probably do in 2019. We could record the new one. Sure. You can get on there. I can, I can catalog my car problems again on the program. Ooh, that's uh, a nice over here. plant. And it's Thursday. And got some food. Mmm, got food. Chicken soup is saying that things aren't square in his mother's trailer. Oh yeah, I remember, remember that. Remember last year when Freddie was on a streak in 2017? It's 2018. When are you in 2019? Uh, yes. Well, that sounds like the future to me, because it's only the beginning. Thank you. Bye. You're very aware of the time shift there. Yeah, now we can talk about the, the last three years. Do we remember? Oh, yeah, it was Dan Bennett. Freddy, the stuntman. Yeah. Uh, what was that? What just happened on 18? I don't know. I was talking about the past. <laughs> Did I say something about a car in that message just now? No. No, I don't think so. Thursday, that's right, because today's Friday. How's the uh, production going? Oh, it's good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Things are good. Good. Real good. I'm going to put the slow fade on this message in the future. Surprisingly good. Oh, uh, surprisingly good? Uh, expectedly good. Hey, future! It's us, the past. It's Friday, the 3rd, 2019. We just watched some, ep uh, some, this day from the last three years. First it was Dan Bennett. Uh, he was late. Then it was me. I was there wearing this jacket. Uh, and then I was talking about that year, and you probably saw all these already. Now you're looking at this year. You looked at the last four years and this year. Wow, that's it's, a lot of years. It's this day. You know what it is. You know how it works by now, don't yep, you? Yep, yep. You know, hey, what's going on? Is it 2020? Also, my car broke down today, so I'm having car trouble. I think the transmission's blown, so I don't know what to do now. You check the calipers. Gotta go check the calipers. Bye. Yeah. Maybe it's the calipers. Oh, my calipers. <laughs> uh, I don't know what a caliper is, though. So. <laughs> well, you don't Mr. have a Ginsu? car. You don't need to know about a car. Uh, the calipers. Yeah, I guess we should call Mr. Ginsu and have him diagnose the problem. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu knows about cars. Um, oh, we didn't call Bird either and Mark. We talked to Bird. No, that was a message. Oh. But Mr. Ginsu knows cars, kind of. It's like, Mr. Does Ginsu... He? What's wrong with my vehicle? <laughs> I don't. I've never heard him successfully fix a car. He's been trying to fix that one car, but he never actually did fix it. My experience when you try to fix a car, you usually damage some other thing in the car. 
before you're able to fix the one thing you started fixing, and so mm-hmm. then you have to fix that other thing. Oh, phones! Come on, phones! It, can, it starts a cycle that kind of goes on forever, and that's why you're probably always going to fix your car. If you're starting to fix your car, you're probably going to have to fix your car forever. The phones are struggling. Is I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't have that bus which, app anymore. Which uh, ninety four. Ninety four. Oh, I don't know that one. That's one of the. It's like the east. The less, it's a lesser running bus. Yeah, it's less. That was the bus that went to my mother's house. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's around where my house is. This usually might be at work. Did Mr. Ginsu ever finish that story about Mm-mm. amputation? Mm-mm. Hello. What's going down? Hey, Mr. Ginsu, you're sounding like a robot today. You ready? Yeah. Hey, uh, I was going to see if you could diagnose a car problem for me. Such as? All right, so my car, um, it was kind of like, felt like a little bouncy when when it was idling for a while. And then... uh, Today, when I was driving, it seemed like when I would stop the car and then like go to start again, it would kind of the re- the engine would rev and then it would go into gear and go forward and then eventually, at a stoplight, it just like wouldn't go and it just like kind of felt like I was in neutral and it was just revving, and then I like had to push my car into a parking spot and leave it, but it also like I left it in drive and I could still just push it like it was in neutral. So you got an automatic transmission? Yeah, automatic transmission, yeah. Okay. The fluid in your automatic transmission? Oh, I hope so. I haven't checked so, the fluid. I know if it ain't got no fluid in it, it ain't going nowhere. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Um, if you put fluid in it, it'll probably work. Really? Um, if it has fluid in it, then you have a problem with your band. Um... Probably in your transmission. Um, you, the motor runs fine, though, right? Yeah, the b- motor seems to be running fine. Yeah, so the motor runs fine. You stick it in gear, and if it don't go nowhere, you got to put um, ATF, automatic transmission fluid, in your in, in not in your engine, in your transmission. Huh, I guess I better go check on that. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Do that. And, don't, well, and then you probably have to start it. Um, check it with your engine hot and or just pull the dipstick and see if there's anything fucking on it. Right, yeah. If there's nothing on it, that's your problem. I feel like I usually... I feel like I've checked it before. Hopefully it's there. I better go... Yeah, Uh uh-oh. Man, that'd be bad because that would be the second car I've ruined by not having automatic transmission fluid (laughs) in it. (laughs) (laughs) So, okay, yeah, so... Check the fluid. If it's not there, put it in, and it'll probably run fine. Really? You probably ain't ruined it yet, but there's hard to say. Um, right. They can go through quite a bit of damage with uh, not having enough oil in there. That would be good if it still ran. That'd be really good. But check your fluid and call me back. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And, uh... Kenny there? Yeah, Kenny's here. What are you... Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, it's not just Freddy's calling uh-huh. <laughs> Freddy's doing the show today. <laughs> Welcome Freddy's to... Show. No, I'm the here. Freddy yeah. show. Um, and Freddy went to Dr. Kenny, and uh, he said, oh, I got a hangnail. And Dr. Kenny said, put your finger on the 2 by 4 Freddy does. And Dr. Kenny comes over to meat cleaver and goes, whack! Two by four. And his finger, and his finger disappears. And along with his finger disappears the hangnail. And Freddy cuts it up. He's like, what the fuck? I needed that finger. And Dr. Kenny's like, no, you didn't. You had a hangnail. You got like pl- a son of a bitch, didn't it? You got nine other fingers. Yep. Because I know you don't need that one that much. Holy shit. My hamburger brain. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you're making spaghetti? 
I'm cooking it right now. I'm getting the hamburger done. It's a little burn. About, about ready to add my three seconds of water. Three seconds. One second. Three seconds. What are you doing? Ten. Oh, okay. I have ten fingers. Oh, okay. They're all here. Are you doing ten? Like this? Ten. Three, three seconds of water is how long it takes to uh, Nine. get water in there Seven. to just Six. finish the spaghetti. I think you should just do this. <laughs> no, I and then if, I if I boil it dry, it'll be just perfect. Ooh, uh, sounds good. I'm hungry. No, it's going to be. It's going to be. Now I just let the water heat up. Yeah. Rest the leave. Oh, I want spaghetti. Oh, well. Maybe I'll eat some, make some yep. spaghetti too. Uh, do you know what it where your car you you put your transmission fluid in the car at all? Uh, yeah. There's like a little knob you unscrew it and then. Where does that attached. go? Yeah, does it usually just stays in there. Get into the transmission. But but sometimes like it leaks empty, or it must be leaky. Yeah. Or does it go away? Oh, if it's leaking, now you got um. A seal in your transmission probably went bad. But if it, w but how could it go away if it's like if it's not leaking? Then does it just like be? be you could have drove over a rock, hit the pan on the bottom, and put a hole in the pan. That'd be a leak. Does it get used That'd up or something? Or because maybe it burns. Does the transmit like so? What are the ways it leaks out? It either leaks out or it burns a off. Seal? A seal, come out a seal, or come out where you drain it out if uh, that thing didn't get tightened up. Um, underneath there, if it didn't get tightened up, it could drip, drip out of there. I know oil can burn um, off if there's a problem, but can automatic transmission fluid burn off if there, is that like a thing? Burn off? Yeah, no, it doesn't burn, huh? No, no, no burning in the transmit. The engine burns stuff and... The transmission only uses the oil for lubrication for the, all the bands and uh, uh, clutch parts and what do they call that? I all the know. moving parts in there deserve oil. Mm. <laughs> Not oil, automatic transmission fluid. Right. Sorry. Don't right. put oil in your automatic transmission fluid. You do not put automatic transmission fluid in your engine when you should be putting it down the dipstick of your transmission. Right. Did you ever fix your neighbor's car? Not yet. I'm almost getting to the point where I'm ready to jump on it again, but that thing's such a nightmare. You're almost Never, ready ever, to start. ever buy a Dodge Intrepid. Yeah. You buy a Dodge Intrepid, you're a fool, and you deserve your car to fucking fuck off. What kind if of car it breaks, it's going to cost you a lot. What kind of car do you have, Freddy? I have a Ford Ranger, 1996. What do you think about that? <laughs> you like that one? Yep, yep. Let me okay. All right. It actually has Ford had Ranger. a lot of trouble over the years, but um, I guess... It is like 23 years old. Yeah. The worst comes to work at 23 years old, huh? And if you got transmission problem, just go buy a transmission, a used transmission out of a truck, like you know, and swap them. What if that transmission goes bad? Then you go buy another transmission oh. and swap it out. Okay. Is that hard? Eh, it can be a kind of tricky. You gotta pull the whole engine um, block out. That's what Freddie was saying earlier. Don't you have to pull the whole engine block out? I don't think so. Oh. You just, you might jack the engine up just a little bit, um, but mostly I think you just take the, leave the engine in, you take the drive line off, and unbolt the transmission from the engine and then yank it out the back. Oh, okay. Um, uh, for, and then you're going to have a spline liner and shit whenever you stick this. A spline liner? Stick in the spline. There's a spline liner Pardon? on the <laughs> Splines are on your transmission drive shaft. 
and they yeah the splines there's splines up in your engine yeah and your transmission has like a male female thing the one part yeah. fits into the other part Gender but they have splines. to line up properly before you stick them in together or you might um damage it and then it'll go bad real quick no is that daddy long legs yeah hey spider is it alive is it alive that's my spider named Splineliner. Splineliner, the spider is. I don't know if it's alive. Mr. Gensu, we got a spider on the ceiling. All right. What's his name? Spline. Splineliner. <laughs> Splineliner. Splineliner? Is that the name of that little guy? <laughs> I think it's alive. Uh, come on. Um, Mr. Gensu, we got to call Bird and. Uh, Mark, so we'll talk to you later. Thanks for talking to us today. All right, take it easy, man. Okay, like I say, check oh, yeah. fluid, call me back if it's not fluid. Okay, uh, I hope it's we'll fluid. Again. Bye. All right, I'm gonna call Bird. You gonna stick around? Here's where, oh, okay. Oh, no. This one. <laughs> no, we got only 20 minutes now. 20 minutes? I don't know. Oh, look at outside. What am I going to do? Like, I don't know when the bus is going to come, so I'm going to, like, go walk to the bus stop and then just, like, sit at the bus stop. Oh, yeah. You know Meanwhile, have, uh, the program is going to be going, you know. You have so. your phone? I have my phone. I could probably install that app on there. Well, you just go to look at the internet. Go to um, Inner City Transit. Oh, okay. 94. Hey, Bird. Hey. Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday. How are you? Yeah. Uh, sick? Just kind of tired. Are you, are you sick, though? Before you said you were sick. Now you're just tired? Yeah. What are your symptoms? Yeah. Uh, something with my throat, I think. Like, uh -oh. like sore nose. throat, runny nose, uh, headache, yeah. fatigue. <laughs> nausea? Yeah. <laughs> How about nausea? No nausea. Uh, okay. That's good. Yeah. What are you what are you doing to treat it? Just resting. All Drinking right. water. Oh, yeah. it left at 4.15. Oh. The next one doesn't leave till 5.15. Oh. Bird, you need a doctor's note or I don't believe you. Can you get a doctor's note? <laughs> okay. I'll get one. Yeah, yeah. thank you. That's, that's a good point. No, don't go to the doctor. Just drink water. Drink lots of water. Well, you had to, you got a pretty crazy disease, like, within the last couple of months, right? Where you had to go to the hospital or something, right? Oh, uh, no, that was, a, that was a, like a year ago. Oh. For the virus. What, what was, that was just some virus? Yeah, unknown virus. They don't, you don't even know, still don't know? Nope, it was undiagnosed. Didn't they go to the, you, you went to the doctor for it though, right? Yeah. But they didn't, they didn't tell you what it was? Nope, they oh. couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out, but you got. Studio. How did they treat it? They didn't. Just went away, you know. Oh, so you shouldn't have gone there in the first place, huh? Probably, yeah. It's Wait pretty weird money. that your immune system knows how to battle these things. Like, what is it even doing? It's like sending white blood cells in to attack things or something. It's yeah. like it feels like it's using violence. Your immune system is like only solving yeah. all the problems with violence. Fighting fire with fire. It works. Fighting viruses with other viruses. Fighting viruses with That's white like, blood cells. Um, I don't well, think it's fighting fire. Fire with fire, fire is like um, vaccines. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know if you yeah. if you had if you had a blowtorch, you put out a fire with it. Like, it's not. Maybe. Yeah, I think you fight fire with fire by like burning off all the fuel that the fire is gonna burn, yeah. like in a controlled way. Yeah. So. A fire line. Better yeah. Create a fire break. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are you just at home? Does Daisy Jeez. does Daisy know you're sick? Double help. Does Daisy know you're sick? Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, phone. Come the on. The internet is kind of breaking up. Here. Yeah. Does Daisy know you're sick? Can you hear me now? Does, yep. Does Daisy know you're sick? Might be on your end. Yeah, no, it's on my end for sure. The phones are not great. Maybe we should do that phone thing. Voip. 
VOIP from, uh, and then it'll be like, uh, like a wired Ethernet line to that, and then we're not like relying on Wi-Fi. We're re- relying yeah. on like radio. Sounds like Max Headroom. Um, we'll be have a radio signal instead yeah. of a, a internet thing. Um, Get the all right. internet. Well, Bird, when are you gonna come back here? Maybe uh, tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do the show. Probably. Well, you, tomorrow you're still sick, so we'll figure it out. But I'll, we'll talk to you later. Maybe, maybe like show. next week. Maybe next week, like Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Something like that. That would be good. All right, Bird. Uh, maybe Thursday. Next Thursday. How about next Thursday? Yeah, that's a possibility. Because I'll be in the daytime. Um, all right, Bird. Get better. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. Have- okay, bye. Okay, Happy man. 2019. Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. New Year. Oh, well, I hope. <laughs> happy. Oh, are you still there? I thought I hung up. Happy, happy. Happy New Year. Happy, happy. What'd you do for New Year's, Bird? Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm listening to this message. I think you can still be there if I'm listening to this. Oh, Mark left a long message. I don't know if we have time for all these messages, Mark. We have time for this message. Yeah. This message can't be longer than three minutes long, you so know? So maybe we'll listen to this one and we'll just call them and then listen to the other ones later. Oh, there's multiples? Yeah. Wow, has he left multiple messages before? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, come on. Phones. I guess this is still, we would still, well, if we had VIP, then maybe uh, the uh, the messages would just be... Like uh, on a tape, like yeah, it, or like, like on an actual message, old school message machine. Like a tape, or yeah, if we got a tape, or we could just get like a, the digital one. Oh whatever, yeah, whatever we get. Because I think what I'm thinking is that we would get one of those things that you don't have to plug every phone into the wall. Because that's how it would need to be. Because you know, I think it, like lots of the newer, like towards the end of wireless phones, that you just like plugged one thing into the wall, and then you could have like everything else somewhere else. The oh. mental health system is really screwed. Oh, yeah, that's bad. You know, I I spent three whole days trying to contact my doctor uh-huh. to get my freaking meds. Oh, no. And You're entitled. Right now, I feel kind of lousy. I, I got my meds yesterday. It's the doctor's fault. But I didn't pick them up because they didn't have a full amount of them. But I'm supposed to pick him up today at about 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And it's just lousy. Yeah. The whole mental health system is all screwed up. My doctor uh, wouldn't give me my meds. And finally, the doctor did give me my meds. And it's just screwed up. So the doctor... He wouldn't anyway, until he did. I'm calling to tell you because I'm kind of venting out, you know. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. It's a good place for that. The, the meds are, are important because uh, without them, I get real sick. Oh, no. Like I feel, like right now, I kind of feel nauseated and stuff. But that's probably because of the side effects from not having it. But anyway... What is it? Uh, I'm watching your daily hour with me. Good. That's great. And uh, I remember Dan Bennett. Mm-hmm. Bennett. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Yeah. He's on that uh, uh, karaoke show. Karaoke. Oh, yeah, he's on karaoke only. That too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But anyway. I just wanted to call and tell you about my meds and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. It's, it's kind of frustrating, you know. I understand. Try to get meds. Yeah. Well, cause I, get, I don't understand, I guess. Doctors are all screwed up. They don't I haven't. The whole doctor it. system is screwed up. I don't anyway, know. Anyway, I'll wrap at you later. Oh, yeah. Bye. I get my wisdom teeth out like three years ago. That was like the only time I had a prescription. 
in uh and that was only once yeah for years so it does sort of seem like a small like it's like not enough of an example to really say that the whole system is screwed up yeah. it sounds like maybe his doctor is not the best you know it's hard to tell i'm gonna call him i'm calling him even though he left a couple more messages i had a doctor i felt like he was like trying to over prescribe he was always like do you need pills i'm like no Hello. <laughs> hey mark it's the program we're on tv how are you doing Oh, pretty good. What are you up to? Uh, I'm sitting on the couch. I wish I was stuffing my pie hole, kind of, though. Oh. I didn't bring any food today. What are you doing? Oh, just sitting around. Yeah, did you get your meds? Yeah, I got my meds. Uh, was it uh, late? It was what now? You, you, your meds were late? You think that plant is done for? No, it's going to come back? It's like... Uh, plant cam? Um, well, they're expensive, I know that. Oh, really? Uh, well, I guess they're, they're keeping you uh, sane or something? You gotta uh, uh, pay uh, uh, pr uh, probably uh, 20 bucks to get your beds. If you... Oh, that's not bad. If you didn't take your meds, would you go insane? Probably, yeah. Yeah, oh no. They're keeping you sane? Did you, uh, quit cigarettes, Mark? Uh huh? Did you quit cigarettes still? Yeah, basically. Well, it's a. Uh, that's good. Um, I uh, uh, broke down a couple times, though. Well, I think it's uh, maybe a process, but just next time, don't break down. That's really the only time when you're tested. You know, you can sit around all the yeah. time and not smoke, but when you see other people smoking... But I heard one guy said he, when he completely quit, uh -huh. at least seven times before he finally quit. Yeah, but that's just an excuse. It should have no times. You can do it, Mark. I believe in you. Freddie is here, the producer. You know, Freddie? Hey, Mark. I quit cigarettes one time. Yeah. You, I, I my, the thing that worked for me. Hello? Hello? Mark? Mark, it's Freddie. Hey there. Are you, uh, can you hear me there? Did, Hello, Mark? Did you want to hear my, uh, trick? Okay, you, can you hear? Yeah, someone's calling in. Uh, can you hear? Somewhere to go. Okay, bye. Well, he's getting a call on the other line. <clears throat> that's good. Good, good deal. Thanks, Mark. Well, you're gonna say you quit cigarettes by saying you don't like them, right? Isn't that the? I mean, well, by not saying it, but by like um, making some mental decisions. You know, like, mm -hmm. to, I chose to dislike the taste and smell yeah. mentally and, like, shifted my um, enjoyment, you know. So these are <laughs> gross. I also got sick. I got really sick. Yeah. And didn't leave the house for, like, two days. So I got past a large portion of the, um, like, mm. body addiction stuff, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, because I just, like, I was, like, kind of in the bed, just, like, in bed. So you feel bad in general, so you don't know if you're feeling bad because the cigarettes are... Yeah. ...or whatever else. This is Grandma calling Grandma right now. I don't know if I... Andrew's going to be at work or if anybody's going to be there, really. I think Friday's is line dancing. Oh, wait, where does that happen? We're at the senior center. Here? Um, yeah, maybe. She maybe she's right over there. I mean, there is a lacy one, too, but yeah. I want to learn how to line dance. Hello, this is Ty's phone. Oh, it's me. Leave a name and number and she'll call you back as yeah, soon as you Yeah, they used to be line dancing at um, Big Whiskey's. Thank you. Yeah. But they're gone now. That building is pretty cool. They should go be able to get in there. Hey, Grandma, are you there? It's me. I'm on the message. Uh, hello? Otherwise, it's, yeah, lots of messages going, hello, hello. Uh, I don't think oh, you're yeah. there. Okay, bye. Well, got five minutes. What?
Yeah. Time just flies by. It's pretty exciting. Well, I uh, well, I think I'm gonna listen to those Mark messages like when there's nothing going on because yeah, let's find out what he, what he's oh, you thinking. Wanna, you want to leave it? Oh, when on. there's nothing going on? Oh yeah, yeah. like in the future because then oh, we'll call okay. him back too. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, because you know, there's days when there's no messages. Some days there's lots of messages. Right. And I guess I am here. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna bring that much interest to the program or anything, but it is slightly more something than there being no one here. I guess mm-hmm. so. Yeah, it's like I should get a. Uh, I guess we had Charlie for a while or something. Well, I think I've heard it even on the radio program you were talking about, you just needed someone to say yes. <laughs> oh yeah. <just> <laughs> <laughs> so uh, consider me yes. Yes, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> but then I get like even went as far as to get like that thing. There was a computer. I don't know some kind yeah. of computer voice. Well, yeah. there was yeah. But there was also like this one. It was my favorite. I don't know where it's from. It's definitely in the first year of the program. But it's like the computer goes like, "Yes, yes, yes." Oh, yeah. It's like a really pleasant, nice, like woman's voice saying did, yes. Did I make that same like soundboard with a different sound on it and I changed it around? So. Maybe it was a couple soundboards. I think there was at least two soundboards. There must have been because I'm not sure where this yes came from. But it was a really nice yes. And then yeah. That one's pretty good too. <laughs> it was but, a little bit aggressive. Yeah, a little aggressive. Yeah, and like, say something that's like supposed to be not as aggressive. Like, are you? Uh, or, hey, Freddie, you got the phones working yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was what it. Because we were using it to communicate <laughs> yeah. a lot of time from in the TCTV studios. Yeah. Just like, but there's no no. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no. You say. Nothing for a while or something. We're clapping. <laughs> we're clapping for no, one for yes. Yeah. So what, we don't have anything. We're going to do something in February. We're going to go back to TCTV or maybe we're just going to never go back to TCTV again. Yeah, I'm not sure. And a lot of it's still sort of, despite the fact, like, we made the mistake back in 2015 of combining the, our thing with the Dance Only Dance thing. Mm, oh, yeah. Remember when we tried to make it like one thing? Yeah. And it always has been on the same day since we took over. Um, and in fact, maybe we, maybe like separately, we were like, oh, we want to keep Dance Only Dance alive. And they're like, oh, well, we're doing that. Well, we might as well put the Daily Hour there too and record one at TCTV. Yeah. But um, I guess Kaz is still wanting to do Dance Only Dance. Kaz is the person who's now in charge of Dance Only Dance yeah. and has been for the like year. Um, and they're pretty excited, I guess, about some year celebration or maybe that already happened i can't remember but every time last m- december they didn't show up at all mm-hmm. and i almost was thinking it was the end and we would be free or something yeah to not go um i'm considering it though actually next next friday i'm supposed to be on diane's show too so talking about mm. coffee I don't Next know. Next Friday, I'm where I'm gonna working. be working. I'm not available. I don't know. Maybe I should do something other than coffee. I'm I'm not the most knowledgeable person about coffee, even though I am a barista. How much coffee stuff is there? What about I think drawing? Drawing. It makes more sense with the con- context of the show too. Isn't it like supposed to be like what you? Your craft? Isn't it kind of like a craft show? Yeah, I think she asked me about coffee because. I like we did this vinegar episode one time. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. About all these things you can do with vinegar. You know about vinegar, or you had to look it up. I know a little bit about vinegar, but I looked up a lot of stuff about mm. vinegar too. That's a good episode. Cleaning. Cleaning, health, uh, salads. <laughs> 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 Flavor. Uh, yeah. Is that is that the, is that the triad of vinegar? I think it might be uh, flavor, cleaning, and health. Yeah. Like, or, what else is there? Oh, I guess there's nothing else. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of kinds of vinegar. You know how to make vinegar. You can make vinegar at home. Uh, you just uh, wait. Yeah. It's not a hard hard process. In it's fact, like, someone, my friend was making a bunch of cider because mm-hmm. they had a bunch of apple trees. And apparently you make, like, as much cider you make, you also make apple cider vinegar. Like, somehow it's a byproduct of the cider process. Oh, yeah. So then... You know, you get two things out of the one process. And so you just make it accidentally. Just, so like, they put, just have more yeah. than they can deal with. Let's just put orange juice or whatever. And just leave it out for like a really long time. I think that's a great way to get like 
rotten oil or orange juice. Yeah, it gets rotten. What's the difference though? Like, how come sometimes it gets rotten, sometimes it turns into vinegar? I've never heard of anyone making orange vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, grapes somehow have some kind of weird thing where they, maybe it's yeast that gets in there. The yeast maybe is. You gotta part put of the, the yeast in there? I know the yeast is part of the process. I think I used to know more about this when I was doing Diane's show, but it was sort of like a cramming situation where I was like mm-hmm. cramming so I could have a half an hour's worth of material. I know Carl was like always using too much vinegar. He was like, really? I was like, well, whatever it was, I was like, well, what are you doing? He's like, vinegar. Like, and he was like putting vinegar in his clothes. Oh, like, oh right. He was using laundry, like, laundry for laundry. Yeah. It's like, I was like, really? Is he supposed to be doing that? He's like, well, he was putting like maybe like a lot of vinegar in there. Huh. Like more than he's like heard that vinegar is good, so then he just put like three cups in his laundry or something. Like, don't you just smell like vinegar all the time then? Because vinegar is pretty like potent. That's smell. true, but it does dissipate. I think I don't remember Carl ever smelling like vinegar. Yeah, I don't remember that. Well, I don't he really remember lots of cologne. I don't remember his smell at oh, all. You he know was, what I do? He was oh, he had like a cologne. He, he smell? wore a lot of cologne. Maybe it was Axe or like deodorant or something. But he was, I could definitely know, smell him coming. I don't think like. Any, like, all scents are more or less fine. It's just the only thing you could do wrong is put too much on. Like, that's like... I think I smell like a hot dog today. <laughs> 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 I was eating them earlier. <laughs> Those things are pretty uh, potent, too, when you eat yeah. them. Yeah, or, like, I remember the Costco do- hot dogs. You at least taste them the rest of the whole day. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe it's just in my own um, inside. Uh, well, show's over. We made it. Yeah, it was a good one for me, you know? Because it happened. Yeah. It went along. It went along. You didn't lose consciousness or die. Great. Thanks for watching. It's Friday, 3030. Yeah. We're on TCTV channel 22 at 1130 and 2 a.m. Check that out. Yeah. I'm Tim Delano. 360-836-4304, call leave a message, get on TV, yeah, one state number three, check it out, stand up, next to you, fun singing, it's a good song, thank you, TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi, Fabulous, Graham Graham, South Black Con, Drum Lifter, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you, thanks viewers, uh, hell yeah, yeah. dog. Bye. Bye.